Hi, I'm Aaron, one of the owners of Outback Customs. Over the last eight years, we've grown Outback Customs in one of the largest independent uh, interior companies in the nation. Uh, we take pride in our customer service. Uh, the product that we build is gorgeous, high quality, uh, incredible fit and finish. We have an amazing team of craftsmen in Oklahoma City that build amazing living quarters, primarily in horse trailers. Uh, about a year ago, um, after getting into personally myself, getting into RVing with my family, I get to talking with some people, lots of different people as we're going along the way about the need and the missing, uh, what's missing in the RV industry is a really high quality, truly custom platform. So I kind of decided I'd maybe try and build one as a prototype for myself and a demo. Uh, and it's kind of grown into this entire brand and everything that we're launching. So today we're re releasing 1492 Coachworks. So let's take a look. This coach uh, has a really slick camera system on it. In addition to the backup camera that you find on most these days, there are side turn cameras, one here and one on the other side. So when you turn your turn signal on, it's tied to the monitor. It's a wireless monitor that's fed from the antenna here. Works really, really good. So you turn your left turn signal on, it'll pop up the left camera, right, obviously vice versa. In addition to that, we also put a camera out here on the nose. That camera can't be viewed from the truck, but all of all four of these cameras can be viewed from the main TV as a security camera. So if you're somewhere, uh, you're not you know, too certain about, somebody's knocking on the door, you can pull that camera up, change the uh, menu on there, or the input on the TV rather, and pop that up and see all four of those cameras and you can see all the way around the trailer. It's a really, really nice peace of mind feature. Under the riser wall here behind your truck, we chose to go with, instead of fold out or flip up style doors, we went with this sealed roll up door. This is the same kind of door that you'll find on fire trucks, emergency vehicles, rolls up out of your way. So if your truck's hooked up and you need to get access here, uh, nothing uh, is gonna swing out and don't have to unhook uh, from the trailer. So under here, largely your mechanicals, your spare tire, we went with a spare tire and rim that match uh, what's on the actual trailer. Here we have uh, your propane tanks in their own sealed compartment, two 30 pound tanks. We can obviously do 20s, 30s, 40s. This, tra this trailer only uh, has a propane furnace and propane water heater, gas electric uh, water heater. So you won't be using that much propane on it. So we chose to go with 30s on this, but again, 40s are available. This compartment has your batteries. We have lithium batteries on this one, which is the way of the future, no doubt about that. Uh, they last longer, almost indefinitely forever, 20 year warranty on this particular battery. We've got fuse panel in the middle, labeling all your uh, uh, components that are out here that are running. Pretty much everything that's out here is fused and controlled here. Again, nice and labeled. Circuit breakers for your uh, inverter and for the coach batteries themselves, the power to the coach. On this side, there's air ride uh, suspension on this. It's a hybrid air ride rubber torsion axle, which I really, really like because you get the good things of nice ride and, and weight capacity of an air ride. But if the air ride system were to fail for whatever reason, pump, brake, uh, uh, or a line failure, anything like that, you have the rubber, rubber torsion backup so you're not stranded alongside the road. Um, in this compartment, we have the hydraulic pump for the slide out. It's an HWH hydraulic slide out, in my opinion. The best slide out you can put in one of this. It's strongest, uh, straightest, squarest slide. Um, that uh, we can find. Over in this corner, the hydraulic pump for your uh, hydraulic disc brakes. Um, this thing will stop in a hurry. It's amazing how well it stops with the hydraulic disc brakes on it. Let's talk about the entry door side of this trailer. There's a couple features that I really, really like uh, on the side of this, having used this a couple times now. Um, first of all, the entry door, this entry door, because this floor is elevated to accommodate all our large holding tanks that we'll discuss here in a minute. The more ride step above system, we adapted to work with the Cimarron built door. It's a welded aluminum door uh, that's really, really strong and superior to any camper door you can buy. 
but it's got this height and then the step folds up, which is really good for getting out of here. It's nice and stable. But down on this end, on the garage side of it, we lowered that door and I'll put the flip up step on. So when you're stopped going down the road and you just need to get in there quick, you pop that step down and jump in. It's really convenient. The other thing that we did, there's two 16 foot armless awnings on this trailer. Instead of doing one big 30 foot awning or 32 foot, we went with two 16 footers. Reason being, when you hit in those places where maybe you've got a tree back here or you got a tree here, you can at least get one awning out, but you have a total of 32 feet of awning on this trailer. And it's awesome. In addition to that, we put what we call exterior courtesy lights on the side. This is just a really nice low light, doesn't attract the bugs. Um, there's four of them all down this side. We put two outlets, one here and one down there. Uh, obviously GFI protected. The lighted grab handles are really nice and strong to get in and out of the trailer. The outside entertainment center on this coach features a 48 inch Samsung TV, a dedicated stereo system with the four speakers, two on each side, the subwoofer. That's a separate stereo system than the spe speakers you see on either side uh, on the wall of the trailer. That's tied to the inside stereo system so you can play two separate things if you want. We also went with a PlayStation 4 out here so it's just loads of family fun. So let's talk a little bit about the chassis. This is a all aluminum construction, the only steel that's used in the construction of this chassis is the actual subframe, what uh, carries the whole weight of the trailer, and the uh, gooseneck uh, coupler and hitch assembly. We can either do a gooseneck like this one's equipped or a fifth wheel hitch assembly, whatever your preference is. Either way, I prefer the gooseneck only because I end up without a uh, fifth wheel in the bed of my truck, no other reason. But either way is a good way to go. 25,000 pound coupler on the nose. Uh, upgradable to 30,000 pounds as weight uh, requires. Uh, again, the air ride suspension on this is awesome. It rides so smooth, one of the smoothest pulling trailers I've ever pulled, and I've pulled a lot of different trailers. We have Continental 26570 R19.5 tires on this. They are a G rated, rated tire. It's about 5,510 pounds capacity per tire. They run at 110 PSI. So we've got over 22,000 pounds of tire capacity under this. I've weighed this trailer. It has 14,000 pounds loaded out of weight on these tires. So again, plenty of axle, plenty of tire to go along with it. In addition to the upgraded wheels or tires that are on it, the wheels are aluminum, all one piece aluminum Alcoa. The best you can get, it's what's on the semi trucks. It's strong, can hold the pressure, uh, won't fall apart. Back to the chassis, we went with, this is a polished aluminum cladding on the side. It's welded on, solid, adds to the structure of the whole trailer, looks good, stays clean. Uh, seam, or, uh, 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 smooth skin aluminum sheeting on the side. This is 050 aluminum sheeting, so it's heavier than kind of what is the industry standard. Um, on the rigs that do have aluminum on the side, most have fiberglass or FRP type stuff, which doesn't like water. This gets wet, it's perfectly fine. We went with frameless uh, windows throughout this whole thing, just an upgraded look. Plus I like the kick out vent at the bottom when it's raining, you can still have them open and uh, get air coming through, which is enjoyable. That's why we all go camping, hang out, get outside, let the in, uh, outdoors in. Um, again, just an overall well built, everything's welded, it's not screwed. You can see it's solid the whole way through this whole chassis. Uh, this coach comes equipped with a 7K fuel injected generator and a 30 gallon uh, fuel tank. The fuel tank's located tucked in between the two axles with the fill on the side. Uh, we chose to put the generator up top. I like doing that, it keeps it up out of kind of usable area. It also keeps it out of dust and dirt, most importantly. It's putting it up there, we vent it uh, so that it's not gonna overheat. It keeps it nice and clean. It's easy to service, easy to get to, and it's just up and out of the way. It's quieter when it's up there, and you don't have to worry about piping your exhaust up like some state parks, national parks require you to do. It's just, again, a little bit more conven convenient. Um, 
We put this kind of gate on the back just to make it a little bit easier if you do want to load a tote or anything like that. There's tie downs up there. It's all bed linered, so it's nice and uh, stable to stand on. It's not slick, even if it's wet. Same thing with this ladder. It's bed, line, bed linered, so as you're climbing up, if, even if it's wet, it's not slick. Um, this is a Cimarron built ramp. It's not a block piece. It's built specifically for this trailer. Comes down incredibly easy, incredibly lightweight. It's all LED lights on the tail end. It's got three LED lights, including backup lights. Every um, trailer light, clearance light, stop light, everything on this trailer is LED. In fact, everything on the interior and every exterior light on the trailer are LED. So everything's LED, no incandescence. We've got the security lights on the back. Uh, those lights can be turned on individual. And then the security lights on the side, there's three per side as well. And they light up the night big time. They're great, really, really convenient. On the driver's side, underbelly compartment is kind of your connection center. Um, it's got the water center, all your plumbing connections are all here. Uh, kind of, you know, similar to what you see done in, in most, big difference with ours is this is all aluminum nice nice strong gonna last sealed up it's not plastic when you pull on the valves nothing wiggles and moves all around but the water heater bypasses out here we've also done a hot and cold uh, running water it's great to wash the kids off wash the dog off all that stuff but hot and cold faucet mixing valve out here there are three uh, waste tanks on this trailer one black and two gray tanks there, all three are 58 gallon tanks a piece. The freshwater tank is 108 gallons of fresh water. So great capacity, easily go all weekend again with a family of five, which is my experience, three young kids. Um, and my wife and I even doing laundry in the whole nine yards can run all weekend off of those tanks. We also put the auto level control here. Um, again, just this is where you're disconnecting everything or reconnecting it up. So it's just a really good reminder to in your process, you know, that's tear down and set up process. Make sure your jacks are up. The other thing we did is this coach is equipped with a wine guard traveler, satellite, open face, high definition satellite. They're awesome, the best in the business in my opinion. Again, that controller is here because I assure you, if you leave it up going down the road, there's a good chance you'll hit something and knock it off. It sticks up about three feet past the roof. So again, just as a reminder, as you're disconnecting everything, it, it just works good for me to have this out here in my experience. Um, big underbelly storage, nice rubber floor, carpet lining, um, everything's protected. It can take the abuse, just throw your stuff in there, um, not have to worry about it getting uh, anything damaged. And while we're here, let's talk about the 12 gallon gas electric water heater electronic ignition, electric option is great. You can fire both elements at the same time. So gas or electric, you almost get continuous hot water. Again, family of five, this is no problem for us. I much prefer this over the on-demand water heaters. That's a great concept. It's horrible in execution. They're really, really finicky um, and seem to just work great sometimes and not others. Additionally, this coach has a 40,000 BTU propane furnace ducted throughout all levels of the coach are equipped with air. The passenger side, uh, underbelly storage compartment, again, passes through all the way to the other side. We've got 120 volt GFI outlet, also 12 volt and USB under here. LED lights um, on both sides. The vac, central vac system is down here that way. When you need to change the bag, all that's not inside. It's piped throughout, it has a tow sweep. We'll touch on here in a little bit. We also have these sliding doors. Easy access to service, your water pumps are under there, all your electrical system, your breaker panel, all that stuff's right here. Both these doors that slide both ways, you get great access. There's also under there, it's hard to show on the camera, but uh, the plumbing system is done with a manifold system. So in the event, say your toilet valve fails or something to that effect, you can turn the toilet off, just the toilet, until you can get a service and not use water, lose water to the entire coach. It's a really, really nice feature. Also helps with water pressure. There's less fittings to leak because you're not teeing off everywhere. So there's no hidden fittings in this entire trailer. It's all straight piped. All the fittings are either, you know, under a cabinet at the back of the toilet um, or down here at the manifold where they're piped in. A great feature.